during a Monday morning joint press briefing organized by the police and the Uganda People's Defense Forces, a number of issues were raised in regards to the arrest of several members of Border Border 2010, including their chairperson, Abdallah Chitata. Banyuani. The police spokesperson, Emilian Kaima, was quick to defend the Inspector General of Police, who has over the years expressed his praise for Chitata's role in helping the police fight crime in the city. His only link to us is that he helps us to fight crime. Because border borders, remember, to, from 2006, border borders were both, you know, vehicles for criminality. That's how the red searching was, was killed, remember? They may have weaknesses, I'm sure they are there, but they helped us, in, especially during the work to work. Chitata, Abdul Chitata, as, a, as an individual, under his umbrella organization, which is fully registered, was helpful in fighting crime in Kampala, and he also said, that if there is anybody who has evidence to the fact that he commits crimes and others, let it come. And so the investigation is on. It, say, it simply says one thing. If you are my brother or my friend, do what is within the law. When anything is questionable, the law will check that. And of course, the law will determine who is culpable and who is not culpable. The deputy APDF spokesperson, Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kiki, explained why the army has been leading recent operations to arrest suspects, yet ordinarily one would expect the police to do so. But whenever an opportunity comes in and we have to show up, we do show up depending on the need. If somebody is going to escape and is very critical, and you know you have the intelligence, and uh, you know the unit of the police is five kilometers away. And the squad of military intelligence or the military is just within the proximity of that person. Do I have to insist until Ndugu Kaima comes in or I do the arrest and hand over to, to police? The army, however, denies targeting Border Border 2010 members. What we do is to go for an individual person believed to have been involved in a crime. So when I mention Chitata, I'm not mentioning his organization or his organization. I'm mentioning an individual. And any individual in this country is not above the law. Lieutenant Kano Akiki also confirmed that some of the suspects were arrested for obstruction of justice and not because they had any link to crimes that were being investigated. And I don't think this is acceptable. And the security forces will do its best to make sure you get out of its way. And this is what led to arrest of more other people, over 20 of them. The security organs are, however, uncertain in which court the suspects will be charged. If any need comes in or any evidence shows that this has to be taken to the court martial, so it be. But at the moment, there is no uh, evidence that is showing us that we are going to try anybody to court martial. According to the army and the police, investigations are still going on and they expect to arrest more suspects. Ali Mivule, NTV.